it's Faith again and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the bottle of the Drugstore Foundations and as you can see from the title, I'm going to compare these two foundations. These are both Pro Matte Foundations. So the first one is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. This one, I got this in Shopee nung bago pa siyang release sa United States but I believe this is already available here in the Philippines. And if I'm not mistaken, this one retails for 700 to 750 pesos. Ganun siya. So mas mura siya if you get it to Shopee than on the stores. Kasi this one, I think I got this for 550 lang. Ganun. But this one retails sa ating mga LA girl counters in the, here in the Philippines for 700 pesos, I believe. And then the next one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And this one, originally this one retails for 700 pesos as well. But I don't know kung anong nangyari. Good news siya kasi binabaan ng L'Oreal yung price nito. So naging 499 pesos na lang ito guys. And yung L'Oreal palaging nagsisale. I'm not sure with the LA girl. But yung L'Oreal palagi silang nagsisale guys. Okay? So both foundations are pro matte. So this one is pro matte. This one is pro matte. Both claims to be matte. But this one is demi matte finished. Both foundations contains one fluid ounce or 30 ml. Yung kagandahan lang ng L'Oreal Infallible is yung yung packaging niya is in a squeezy tube and it's very very friendly. It's more hygienic. Kasi squeezy tube nga. Itong sa LA Girl, mas social in siya. Pero hindi siya travel friendly because it comes in a glass bottle. I think this one is a glass bottle but it has a pump naman. If you ask me which one do I prefer, depende sa situation. I cannot choose for the packaging guys. Kasi depende lang talaga sa occasion. If you want to bring this to travel, then this one is nice. Pero kung gusto nyo nang mamahalin yung peg, yung packaging kasi glass siya and it has a weight, then go for this one. Anyway, so let's go to the application part. So my favorite way of applying foundation is through a wet sponge. And today I'm going to use my microfiber fusion sponge. And this one is already wet. I'm also done applying my skincare routine in my and my primer. Yung ginamit ko na primer is the Mark um, Primer by Avon. That one is just a smoothing primer, pore filling primer. So it will not affect the longevity of the foundation or the consistency or the formula of the foundation. So anyway, let's start with my left side. For my left side, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. And I'm going to get one pump. Ayan. Uubusin ko yung one full pump, guys, on my face. Usually, yung one pump is for my entire face na. So, let's see. Let's blend this out. Okay, so there you go. That is one full pump on my left side. And as you can see, it has given me a full medium coverage. I have a pimple scar here. And as you can see, natakpan niya naman kahit papano. And dito ang flawless niya tingnan. I love this foundation, guys. This has great coverage. And the shade is just a little bit light, but it's okay. We can correct that later with a bronzer. I don't think I need to to build this up because as you can see it has given me a decent coverage like I love the coverage that it's giving me now especially with the sponge hindi niya na soak up yung product so ayan I love it now let's go to my right side I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible so shake muna natin and then I'm going to one full squeeze Ayan. Medyo mas manipis yung consistency ng sa L'Oreal, guys, compared to the LA Girl Pro Matte. So usually, one full squeeze, enough na din sa buong mukha ko if I use this sponge. So I'm going to use this side, kasi etong side yung ginamit ko sa LA Girl, I'm going to use this side for the L'Oreal foundation. I don't know if you can notice it's a camera. This one is really my shade. Kasi ito medyo maputi. Mm, sana hindi super halata noon. I'm wearing two foundation shades. Okay, there you go. I'm done with my right side. And this one is one full squeeze on my right side. And as you can see, I don't need to layer it or I don't need to build the coverage na. Kasi it's giving me a really beautiful coverage. Just like the LA Girl. 
And as you can see, the shade matches me perfectly compared to the LA girl na medyo maputi talaga. Halata ba guys sa camera? And as you can see, talagang mas mating nan si LA girl kasi si L'Oreal, nakikita nyo ba? May konting-konting sheen pa rin. So, hindi siya yung flat looking. Hindi siya yung dull looking talaga. Well, this one is matte. This one is demi matte. Halata naman sa camera guys, diba? This one is parang may glow pa rin ng kaunti. Like, kaunti. So, both are giving me beautiful coverage. I don't need to layer it. One full pump on both sides. Both are giving me a matte finish. Although, this one is mas healthy tingnan kasi may konting-konting glow pa siya. Konting-konti lang. Kasi nga, demi matte finish lang. But so far, both foundations, I have no problem building. Building. I have no problem blending it on my face. I have no problem with the coverage. Basta both foundations so far are performing really nicely on my face. So, Let's give it a wear test. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup muna. Then, I will be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. It's already 7.32 in the morning. Hindi siya klaro, no? It's already 7.32 in the morning. And I'm going to work today. Medyo hindi na halata na I have two foundations on. Hindi na halata na iba-ibang shades, di ba? Kasi I was able to correct it with the powder. Yung powder na ginamit ko is the Bourjois Mattifying Powder. And then, the concealer is the No Filter Concealer ng Colourpop. Just under my eyes and nowhere else. Hindi na ako nalagay dito sa nose bridge and dito sa here. Hindi na ako naglagay ng concealer dyan. Just on my under eyes lang talaga. And so far, so good. Both foundations are really performing beautifully on my face. So, malalaman natin later, I'm going to wear this foundation for 10 hours. And malalaman natin kung which side performs well under our weather you know it's so hot here in the philippines which foundation lasts longer and kung saang foundation mas maganda pa tingnan diba after all the oil and sweat dito sa pilipinas for 10 hours so i'm going to give you another check-in later at lunchtime and yes Bye guys, I'll see you later. Hi guys, it's already 12.41. So basically it's been five hours since I've applied both foundations. That's the marks from my glasses. So hindi talaga yan naiiwasan. So far, this one is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. And ayan, intact na intact pa rin. Yung oil control ng foundation nito is okay na okay. Tingnan nyo naman. Para lang siyang konting-konting oil. Hindi ako nagstay sa air condition room the entire morning guys ha and ayan siya okay na okay pa rin siya so everything is intact it's not cakey it's not breaking anywhere yung left side itong LA girl and then for the L'Oreal medyo naging cakey this part just this part I don't know if you can see that but hindi siya very very pangit na pagka cakey ano lang very minimal na pagka cake lang but everything else is intact. The same with the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. Everything is intact. Yung nakikita ko pa naman yung blush and my highlight and my bronzer. The rest hindi na cake except for it dito lang talaga na part. As in, dyan lang na part. For the LA Girl, wala. Wala siyang cakeness. Ito lang talaga sa L'Oreal Infallible. So for 5 hours, both foundations are performing well. Yung oil control nila, pareho silang. Maganda yung oil control kasi tingnan nyo naman, ganyan pa yung oil na nabibuild up sa mukha ko. And without blotting yan nga, hindi ako magbablot. Hindi din ako nagstay sa air condition room. Although hindi ako pinagpawisan ngayon, pero hindi ako nagstay sa air condition room. That's it for my check-in after 5 hours. And I'll see you again later after 10 hours. Let's see kung maglalas pa ang foundations nito. Hi guys! It's already 5... 5.05 in the afternoon and this is my last and final check-in. It's been 10 hours since I've applied the foundations and ito na yung buong mukha ko guys. So this is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD foundation. That side. This one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundation. So, so far, okay yung oil control ng both foundations. Maganda yung oil control niya kasi as you can see, for 10 hours, eto yung mukha ko. Hindi ako pinagpawisan. 
and hindi din ako nagstay sa air condition room the entire day the entire morning hindi talaga ako nagstay sa isang um, air condition room tapos this afternoon i stayed in an air condition room pero hindi malamig yung bang may aircon pero hindi malamig ganun kaya hindi ako pinagpawisan ng sobra sobra but here is my face as you can see okay na okay yung oil control ng both foundations as in like everything is intact i can still see my blush and my bronzer, of course, my highlighter. Etong LA girl, hindi siya nag-break anywhere. As in, it stayed intact. Hindi din ako naging cakey even here. Sa mouth area, here on my nose. It's not breaking anywhere. As in, sobrang ganda pa rin ang foundation na ito, even after 10 hours. The coverage did not fade at all. Like, hello? Look at that. Ang ganda pa rin, ba? And then, for the L'Oreal side, ba kanina, after 5 hours, medyo nag-cake na yung dito na side. Ngayon, mas naging noticeable na yung cake niya kasi imbes na, dito lang yun kanina, at the corners of my nose. Pero ngayon, andito na, hanggang dito na yung cake. Ayan, hanggang dyan na siya talaga. As in. Pero yung cake niya, hindi yung parang pangit ng nun. Um, but it is noticeable. Sa malayo, hindi siya klaro. Pero, if you have a mirror in front of you, talagang klarong-klaro mo na nag na siya. Pero, sa ibang parte ng mukha ko, intact na intact pa rin. The coverage is still good. As in. So, for my final verdict, I love both foundations. Hindi ako alam kung alin dito yung pipiliin ko. Kasi si LA Girl, mas mahal siya. Pero, it perform just a little bit better. Bakit ko nasabing just a little bit better? Kasi hindi talaga nag yung left side ko. Buong left side ko hindi talaga nag -geek. Eto, mas mura, pero nag yung dito na side ko. Pero hindi siya yung sobrang pangit tingnan na pagka -geek. I think I'm going to give these two foundations a tie. If money is not an issue, then go for the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. But kung gusto nyo mas makatipid and mas gusto nyo ganito yung packaging, yung hindi babasagin, if you're clumsy and if you love traveling and gusto nyo dalhin siya, you don't have to worry if it will break, then go for this one because it's 200 pesos cheaper kasi nga, 499 pesos siya. And also, palaging nagsisale ang L'Oreal, guys. So, abang-abang na lang kayo sa sale kasi mas magiging mura siya. So, that's it, guys, for today's comparison review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And also, click that bell button beside the subscribe button so you will be notified every time I post a new video. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys! God bless everyone!